Today, I would like to take you on a modern application journey. As you may be sitting at your desk or taking a walk, you might be thinking, how does all of this new modern application delivery fit together? As I too have pondered the same question. There has been a lot of confusion about modern application delivery and where all the parts of the puzzle pieces fit. It feels like it is moving so fast and they are flying at us all at once. I am Melissa Wentz, a solutions engineer with F5, and today we will go on a modern application journey that will simplify the path to help navigate the direction we are going. By simplifying the story and filling in the gaps, you will learn how securing extraordinary digital experiences through adaptive applications enables modern application delivery. By the end of the video, you will have a better high-level understanding of how all the F5 puzzle pieces really fit together to align with modern application delivery. As we start our journey, we will begin on a brief path of 25 years of history with some stops along the way. We will describe some very specific problems on this journey to modern application delivery and help explain how we got where we are today. So if we go way back in time, F5 starts out primarily as a hardware-based solution and the big IP is born. Performing load balancing during the time that applications were large monolithic single pieces of software installed directly onto the servers right on top of the operating system. And over time, we included more features into the Big IP as it transformed into this concept of an application delivery controller, as we've been doing this for a very long time. We see in the industry how you have been under pressure from one form or another for many years to be more innovative or to be faster to market or to even come out with capabilities quicker. Over time, you have responded by taking technology innovations and aligning those with changes in process and culture to really achieve that speed and agility that you are looking for. On the third stop along the way, I will highlight this concept of virtualization. And I explain this because I think it's a grounding point. Most folks are familiar with virtualization and they understand what a hypervisor is. A hypervisor is a layer of abstraction that allows us to install multiple application servers on a single piece of hardware. Another function that a hypervisor performs is it manages the instantiation, the stand up, the spin down of those virtual machines. We are going to follow this purple application through our journey. So in this case, instead of the purple application being the only application running on the server, we can put multiple applications, red, blue, green, and including the purple application on this single server. Another stop along the way is the broad adoption of cloud capabilities. In both scenarios, F5 has responded with taking what was our hardware solution and virtualizing it with the F5 Virtual Edition and with capabilities from Nginx. And of course, that translates right into the cloud. F5 has been working with customers to successfully deploy VEs within hypervisor environments and out to the cloud to support a secure cloud architecture but developers are still demanding more agility, more granular development capability. And this is coming to fruition with the concept of containers. Think of a container as just the next iteration of virtualization. To keep it simple, a container will give us a small lightweight chunk to be able to control and virtualize. And the result of that is what was once a single large application can now be broken out into these individual components. This allows a developer to swap in, swap out, or upgrade a piece of that application more quickly than having to try to do that for the entire application as a whole. And with these individual services or containers is typically where you hear the term microservice. Now, as these container environments have grown, and become more complex, just like in the hypervisor or virtualized world, we need a way to orchestrate and manage how all of these containers operate, which node they are running on, containers coming online, going offline. And that really is the easiest way to define this concept of Kubernetes. 
Kubernetes has become the industry standard for the orchestration and management of containers. But with Kubernetes, there's a bit of a challenge since there was really no native way to apply policy to the traffic entering and leaving those Kubernetes clusters. And that is the role of an ingress controller. It is really a point of control for applying policy to the north-south traffic of a Kubernetes cluster. The ingress controller will do things like apply a specific layer seven policy or do a particular type of traffic routing. And it also performs some service discovery and other things like that. Think of it as a way to control that north-south traffic. Now, as Kubernetes does its thing, and shifts these containers and manages and orchestrates them around, we broke our purple application into multiple pieces. We need a way to stitch that purple application back together. And that is the role of a service mesh. So you can think of a service mesh simply as providing a communication policy for service to service connectivity within a cluster. And you hear that referred to as east-west traffic and it'll define things like when service one talks to service three, hey, what type of encryption do you use service three? Or when service two talks to service four, hey, how do I authenticate to you service four? Finally, the third critical component of a service mesh is that it provides a certain level of visibility, monitoring, and analytics for the east-west traffic. Now, in some cases, we have the requirement to apply a very specific functionality to a particular microservice. This might be a reverse proxy or a particular type of authentication, or maybe we want to rate limit the amount of traffic that goes to service number two as part of this purple application. And that is really the role of a sidecar. Think of a sidecar as the kind that is attached to a motorcycle. It is just an additional container that is deployed alongside the motorcycle container. We are attaching a sidecar container to extend or enhance the motorcycle functionalities, like adding a particular feature or use case. So it would be like adding accessories or upgrading the exhaust on a motorcycle. In these modern application architectures, many times the service to service communication internal to a cluster is done through application programming interfaces, APIs. So as I am breaking the purple application into little purple application pieces, they are talking through APIs. Additionally, many of the external data exchanges or communications from an application within a Kubernetes environment to say a mobile application is done through APIs. So this has created a significant demand for yet another point of control to apply an API policy to. And that's exactly the role of an API gateway. An API gateway is going to allow us to apply things like authentication or OWASP traffic protection and security. Again, things like traffic routing to those APIs that are traversing both east, west, and north, south for Kubernetes environments. There is this additional concept as well that is applied on top of the API gateway. It answers the questions like, what is the design process of an API? What does the structure of the API look like? How do I publish the API? Or how do I monetize the API? Things of that nature. And when you put that on top of an API gateway, this is really when you hear this concept of API management. Now, even though we have taken our purple application and broken it into many different purple pieces, the end user still has the same application experience expectations. So even though it consists of several microservices, we still must deliver it to our users in a seamless manner. All of the application delivery controller capabilities that we have provided for 25 years, load balancing, authentication, SSL visibility, global load balancing, distributed denial of service, and more are all still very relevant, but we need to find a way to integrate them into these modern application environments. 
And the way that we do that is through supporting the underlying culture that is driving many of these technology innovations and ensure all of these points of control can be embedded into things like developer processes and the automation and orchestration tool chains that they would like to use. So we need to make sure that all of these strategic points of control are able to be defined as infrastructure as code and the policies they are enforcing are defined as configuration as code. The last piece I will touch on is, as we scale up these modern application environments, they need to be able to run anywhere. So whether we are going to put these additional clusters on-prem or within any cloud environment, we must have a capability to make sure that they can run anywhere and then push those capabilities a bit farther out to the edge and closer to the user. And that is where you start to see this concept of F5's Edge 2.0 and the use of application delivery networks. This is where multi-cloud comes into play. Now, if I take a step back again, and I look at the portfolio of solutions that F5 has put together, you see they're very strategically mapped to all of the problems or the challenge areas that we have talked about. By viewing these puzzle pieces together, the big picture develops into a flexible platform to support delivering your adaptive applications. What all of this will do for you and your organization is no matter where you are on your journey, whether you're all in with application modernization and embracing of containers and microservices with Kubernetes, and you know the challenges that come along with that, or whether you are moving in that direction, but still deployed within the cloud, or whether you are chugging along with virtualization, and in many cases, whether you have legacy applications, you now have an understanding how F5 can plug in and connect the puzzle pieces to support you on the journey together to deliver extraordinary digital experiences with adaptive applications and enabling modern application delivery. I'm Melissa Wentz. Thank you for joining me.